All right, today on the channel, I'm going to do a cosplay build, continuing my Mandalorian cosplay. I'm going to make the right spat. If you'd like to check out some of the other videos, you can always check out the Mandalorian playlist if you'd like to build along with this. There's a link below to the patterns on Facebook you can download and print out yourself. All right, all the numbered base pattern pieces are cut out of six millimeter EVA foam. I'm going to be gluing all these together with contact cement. And how contact cement works is you apply some to each surface to be bonded. Let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes and then join the pieces together once it's fully dried and cured. And I'm gonna work from the top down. However, I am gonna glue on the number one piece last. I'm going to start with the 2 to the 3 to the 4, and then join those to the 5, and continue that process down with 6, 7, 8 to 9. And the one that was kind of tricky was the 12. I had to join the two corners and kind of force it together, just because that part of the spat kind of flares out at such an unnatural angle, since it's going to cover the inside of the ankle on my right leg. Here it is, offset. All the even pieces are in, all the odd pieces are up by a couple millimeters. Whenever it's curled up it has a nice shape so far. Now I'm going to glue the number one piece Along the top, again, it's going to be offset outwards by about a millimeter or two. Okay, as I glue on the number one here, I'm going to next move on to heating and shaping it. And to heat and shape it, I'm going to use a heat gun. Now, if you haven't used a heat gun before, they do get very hot. And they can burn you if you accidentally touch the tip, or the tip can burn or melt something. So make sure you're very careful when you're using it. But it's a pretty critical thing to heat and shape pretty much any EVA foam project. Okay, I have my accent one and two. And two just goes along the top of the one. And the number three is two millimeter. I cut that out of orange just so it stand out. And then this I will just glue onto the top of the spat itself. Okay, now that this is super glued on, I'm going to move on to making some loops. And I'm just using a 3 quarter inch wide strip of 2 millimeter EVA foam. And I'm spacing the loops out about a half inch apart. And then I just go ahead and glue and stick them on. I did six in total. Now that I've got my loops on, it's time for some Velcro. And I'm going to use Velcro and my contact cement and some scrap leather to make straps to Velcro these two sides together. So I just cut out three sections of scrap leather about two inches wide by about two and a half inches long and then just put on appropriate sized pieces of velcro some super glue here just to kind of make sure it's not going to come loose and seal those edges since that'll have the most stress now after that's done i take this mod podge and i seal it uh, once i cut a detail line just right through the center and glue on these two little two millimeter triangle pieces i don't really know what function this serves but it was there so I made it. The Mod Pod itself, I don't actually apply totally even. I try to make it nice and even on some areas, but like the bands running around it, I end up, after the first coat, just kind of moving off and splotching it on those areas just to give it some texture and a decent look in that sense whenever the light hits it. Then I'll be painting this a matte black all cam uh, off camera once I get the whole entire thing sealed up. And that just helps it to make a universal color before I start to paint it. 
And to paint it, I start off with some medium brown acrylic craft paint that I just thinned out really, really thin with water and kind of splashed on a couple layers over to get a texture uh, look from it. And I applied the wash a couple times, but I wasn't super happy with it, so I went back through with my airbrush. And I ended up airbrushing it just to make it a little bit more evened out and to tone down some of that a bit. And once that was done, I got my pewter rub and buff. And this stuff has been used for quite a while in cosplay. And I just kind of buff that in to give it that silver and metallic look in that area. But you could just paint it with any metallic craft paint or model paint. I don't seal the whole thing with Mod Podge, but what I do is I just kind of highlight uh, certain areas of it, like the top edge here and that uh, accent that goes over the knee, and then put some on the actual little loops for the cartridges and those bands running widthways with more or less a dry brush technique up and down through the center. And that's just so that when the light hits it, it all looks a little different. Well, it's had enough time to dry. And that's how it looks as the light hits it. And I'd say this is ready to be put with the rest of the cosplay. Next, I'm going to do the other spat, which will probably stop around here since this one comes up over the knee. And the other one's actually going to go underneath where the knee rocket is. So, pretty excited to make that and get that finished up. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this build. Alright, so that pretty much wraps it up. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I did the format a little different. Uh, didn't start off as an intentional thing. I accidentally ended up time-lapsing a bunch of things I intended to just record, so there was no audio. And I just decided to run with it from there. And hopefully you enjoyed the way this turned out. On well, next video, I'll do the less bat. I'll probably do it in the same format as this, just to keep things going at a decent pace. As always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. And as always, have a great day.